My name is Dr. Ido Weinberg, Editor-in-Chief of Angiologist.com. I'd like to talk about IVC filters. Specifically, I'd like to talk about how IVC filters should be retrieved more often and sooner than they are being retrieved. Everybody knows that IVC filters are being inserted more commonly, sometimes for good indications, sometimes for questionable indications. We also all know that greater than 50% of filters are not being retrieved. There are many reasons cited for that. Amongst these reasons are patients that develop permanent indications, but also patients that are being lost for follow-up. I think that by implementing, implementing systemic computerized reminder systems, we should be able to greatly increase our retrieval rate. I think it makes clinical sense, and I also think it makes financial sense. But that's not all. Even when we do retrieve filters, I think we are doing it too late. What's my indication? So when can we retrieve a filter? We should be able to retrieve a filter once the indication for the filter has passed. Often that indication has passed when a patient can already receive anticoagulation or when the procedure that the filter was put in for has, has passed. But still, we often take filters out months after that time. Patients can remain on anticoagulation for weeks and some operators actually wait for patients to finish their course of anticoagulation before retrieving the filter. Why should that matter? Well, as, as we wait longer after filter implantation, it just becomes that much more difficult to retrieve a filter. Difficult to retrieve filters are plainly asking for trouble. You need more sophisticated and more violent modes of retrieval to get them out. On the other hand, if we took them out sooner, then I think our success rate would be higher and I think our complication rate would be lower. My bottom line, we should implement computerized systems to allow us to remember to take filters out and I think we should do it sooner than we are doing it.